Please welcome everybody, Bobachenko. Bobachenko. <laughs> Woo! That was some performance. Mm. Very good. Beautiful. Very. Beautiful. Okay, how do you want to start this off? I think probably the best way is to uh, get a couple of words from the champ. So, one of the great fighters of our time, it was the greatest amateur fighter ever, and he's been a really great blessing uh, to the professional boxing ranks. Nobody around fights with the ability as Loma. So I turn the microphone over to the champion, Vasily Lomachenko. Thank you very much. Yes. How does it feel, Vasily? I feel great. I'm happy because I'm a world champion again. It was my goal, it was my motivation, and now I'm champion again. I'm very happy. I want to say thank you. To my promoter, Top Rank, uh, who give me this chance, my team, my father, my coach, my manager is part of our team, big part of our team. Andre, second coach and psychology, my, my psychology. Russ, my family, my my kids, my friends, and of course, of course, I need. I need to say a big, big thank you to our God, Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. Russ, what did you do? I didn't do nothing. <laughs> Vasily, fantastic performance tonight. Dominated the fight from start to finish. Uh, would anything about George surprise you? Obviously, you planned very well for him, but did you do anything different in there that, that you weren't expecting? No, I expect uh, a little bit more, but... Uh, Everything he did, we was prepared for this, and I saw I saw this during the fight, and I I need to be just adjust uh, during the fight round by round, and uh, I feel I feel during the fight I feel what I can finish him. You became the first uh, fighter to finish George Cambosis tonight. Was that something that you always wanted to do in this fight? Because obviously late in round eleven, no, and you got it done. No, 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 no. For me, it's not. It was not a goal, but uh, this was a world championship, and uh, we need to finish strong. This is what I did. Uh, Loma, Tank Davis has called you out over social media, mate. Your response to that? <laughs> Tank Davis. Tank Davis called. Called out Loma on social media. On the Loma social media. So that's easy to do, <laughs> right? Social media. I can call out call out uh, Mike Tyson. <laughs> Please don't bomb. And you and you and you. The question would be asking a pregnant woman who just gave a, a birth. Would you like to have another child? Yeah. Right. Bob, talk to us about the, the, the performance you saw and the fight that you saw tonight from, from the man. Well, it was a brilliant performance, and for me it was, having seen his first professional fight, uh, it was almost like turning back the clock, uh, because this was a vintage MoMA performance, uh, and uh, uh, I really believe that if he's gonna continue in the sport, that he is going to be even more dominant in the next few fights that he has. I, I know it's early and it's it's fresh, but I mean, do you have any uh, idea what what is next uh, for, for Loma? Or maybe you well, can there that? Are, you know, the idea here in this sport is to win, but win the belts and you know, win all four belts. So you can 
take an inventory. Uh, Tank Davis is fighting as Frank Martin, and it's a good fight. We'll see who wins that fight. Uh, Navarrete fights next Saturday in San Diego, which is going to be on uh, ESPN uh, for a lightweight championship. Uh, if uh, uh, he was the 130-pound champion, now he's going up to 135. Uh, so he's a possibility. Shakur Stevenson uh, is fighting uh, in July uh, in Newark, uh, defending his WBC title. So he's a possibility. There are probably others. But, you know, when the time comes uh, to determine what he'll be doing, uh, I talk to the manager, my good friend Igis Klimas. He talks. Uh, to Loma, Loma's father, and will come up with a great opponent. Loma, is there anyone in particular out of that list that you would like to fight? Well, right now? Right now, no, I don't want to fight right now. <laughs> I, I just want to come back to my home, to my family, and rest a little bit, because last six months was very hard for me. We prepare hard. If you no boxing, you know how it's how it's hard. You have a schedule, hard schedule. You have a diet. You have a uh, hard training. It's very hard. I need to rest a little bit. And after that, we can talk about future boxing. Twenty twenty four. Maybe, maybe. After being in the ring with uh, in 11, for 11 rounds with George Cambosis, give, give us your take and, and thoughts on uh, George Cambosis as an opponent after the fight. Про Камбойсиса можешь как-то прокомментировать его бой? Ты с ним проходил из раунда в раунд? I I I really I expected more, a little bit more, but uh, we prepare very serious for this fight and. Uh, like I said before, styles make fights. This is what happened. We have two different styles. Today... I do have to ask you about a fight that's coming up soon. Obviously, uh, a huge uh, heavyweight unification, unification bout between Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk. Could you give us your take and thoughts on that fight? Uh, my opinion, I'm with my friend, I'm with my brother Alexander Rusik, and of course I uh, wish him to win this fight, and uh, the best man win this fight. This is very, very historical moment for boxing, for people around boxing, and uh, of course for our Ukraine is a very important fight and I will be praying for Alexander and uh, I hope the best man win. Are you going to the fight? No, sorry. I can't because on this day I will be on the plane. Loma, you said for the fight it was not a war, it was art for you. Do you think it was art created tonight? Uh, I try it. I tried paint this art, uh, but I don't know. It's it's your maybe it's your uh, your choice. It was an art. One more. Yeah, Loma. Besides winning the belt, what's one positive experience you can take away from your trip to Australia? Кроме того, что ты выиграл пояс, какой-нибудь еще позитивный вещь собой увезешь отсюда? Yes, this is place what I want to come back because I like it this place very well. I like people. People are very very friendly, and uh, I love very. In this city is very beautiful. It's amazing nature, amazing building, very clean. Lara, Lara animals, Lara birds. Uh, I like it this place. Lara water. And of course, fishing. And a lot of people, a lot of people uh, send me a message. Hey, Loma, go, uh, go to fishing, go to fishing. But right now, 
before the fight I can't because I was busy and uh, right now maybe my goal will be come back to this place for fishing. We'd love to have you back, man. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much.